Hey there YouTube, good evening. This is my vintage Farberware Model 260 electric griddle. I bought this griddle at Value Village several months back for maybe about $4 or $2.50, I can't remember. It was half off day. I was in the right place at the right time because these things, they don't show up too often. A matter of fact, uh, they're, quite sought, they're quite sought after on eBay. They could sell from $40, and I've seen them all the way up to um, as much as $80 on eBay. And I was originally going to flip this one on eBay and, until I started using it. After I used it, I decided to keep it. The reason being is, um, is there's an all-aluminum cooking surface. It's smooth. And this surface, I mean, I could ruin it and nick it as much as I want compared to... Um, a Teflon griddle surface which could get ruined over time with all the scratching and gouging and stuff but yeah uh, this thing is awesome I love it and it's got a pull out grease tray and this is the original control for the fiber electric griddle it's a model 100 it doesn't say on the back but it's a model 100 um, perfect heat control. These things are pretty well sought after on eBay too because Farber does not make electric griddles anymore. These things also could sell from um, as little as $10 all the way up to $30 and above. These things are not cheap. And for a while I was looking around for a spare control and at the thrift shop I found one the other day. This one's a more modern control but it works. This is a Model 101. It's a little different from the Model 100, the original one. It's got the cord off the side instead of the center. But it's made to fit this griddle. I think this was probably from an old, um, old fiberware um, electric frying pan or something, I don't know, or wok. But it works. And to compare the two controls to see if, if you could find one that matches, you got to look at the end. You got to see if there's a two you gotta see if these two, um, these two, um, what's that? These two pinholes. You gotta, you gotta check to see if they're they're wide in between each other. And you also gotta check to see if the ends are rounded. If they're rounded and if these pinholes are um, wide, the control will probably fit uh, the Model 260 electric griddle. You don't exactly need this one. This one, even though it's sought after, pretty well sought after, and, and it costs a lot, you don't really need this one. You could just buy a more modern control, um, a used modern one, if, if you could find one. This is a Model 101, but it uses, uses the same end as the Model 100. See, it's got the rounded corners, and it's got the pinholes um, a wide distance from each other. Even though the stick on this one is uh, flattened, and this one's pointed, don't worry about it. It's not really a concern. But yeah, um, I found, what's that? I found... A spare control so that way I don't have to buy one of those overpriced used ones on eBay I I found that one at, at the thrift shop for two bucks it's better than spending 15 and above and yeah um, either control will work the 101 which is the modern one or the 100 you could use them both as long as the ends are the same And that concludes this video. Have a good evening. Bye.